excitability let's study the factors affecting excitability we start with strength duration and frequency let's see each of them in detail we start with strength the intensity of stimulus intensity of stimulus which is just adequate just adequate to cause an impulse is called threshold so you first define threshold the intensity below threshold is called subliminal then you define subliminal the magnitude of current which is just sufficient the magnitude of current which is just sufficient to excite a nerve or muscle is called rio base so in strength of stimulus you have to define three things threshold subliminal and rio base so let us go to the second factors affecting excitability in stimulus it is duration the duration is inversely proportional to strength the minimum time required to have a response is called utilization time so you first define utilization time the shortest duration of current flow which will excite a nerve or muscle under current strength equal to twice the rio base is called chronoxe i'll repeat it again the shortest duration of current flow which will excite a nerve or muscle under current strength equal to twice the rio base is called chronoxe chronoxe is a useful index for relative excitability now let's go to frequency a single impulse sorry this is wrong here you have to write a single stimulus a single stimulus will cause a single nerve impulse but a strong stimulus will cause more than one impulse so that is what you have to write in stimulus next factor let's go to the next factor it is direction of current if the direction of current is passed transversely along the nerve fiber there is no effect if it is passed along the length of the nerve fiber there is stimulation now let's go to temperature excitability is directly proportional to temperature what is the reason for it it is because when the temperature increases there is an increased activity of the ionic pumps vice versa when there is decreased temperature there is decreased activity of ionic pumps now let's go to the different ions okay the different ions let's see how they help in excitability we start with potassium potassium is directly proportional that means more the potassium more the excitability and less the potassium less the excitability calcium is inversely proportional magnesium is inversely proportional why is calcium inversely proportional let's see the reason the calcium ions they guard the sodium channels i repeat they guard the sodium channels on the outer surface of the cell membrane when you say guard it means they repel the sodium entry that means when there is calcium sodium cannot enter the cell when calcium decreases this effect is no more present when this effect is no more present 
सोडियम कैन एंटर फ्रीली इन साइड द सेल एंड एक्साइटेबिलिटी इंक्रीजेस तो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट फैक्टर दैट इज ड्रग्स एनेस्थेटिक्स ब्लॉक आयोनिक चैनल्स दिस डिक्रीजेस एक्साइटेबिलिटी एंड द लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट इज टॉक्सिन्स टेटेनस एंड रेबीज इंक्रीज एक्साइटेबिलिटी so these are seven facts six factors there is one more there are two more oxygen supply moderate hypoxia increases excitability whereas severe hypoxia decreases excitability next is ph alkaline ph increases excitability acidic ph decrease excitability why does this occur this is mediated through changes in ecf calcium so that is factors affecting excitability